Did you know the Kingsbridge Armory right there in the Bronx is actually the largest military armory in the world? Built more than 100 years ago, the Five Acre Armory has mostly been collecting dust over the last 30 years. There's finally a plan to bring new life to the armory, a plan developed by the people of the Bronx. All of this madness of forgetting the Bronx ends today. A five-acre armory designed to look like a fortress right in the heart of the Bronx. Once a military training site, the Kingsbridge Armory has hosted everything from boxing matches to movie shoots. But since the 1990s, this massive building has mostly been empty. This community has cried out for so long for just attention. One person who never lost faith in the armory's potential is Deputy Bronx Borough President Janet Peguero. For me, as a kid that grew up up and around the area of, of the Kingsbridge Armory, it's truly an exciting time. A $200 million investment will now bring new life to this century-old armory. The funding was announced by Governor Kathy Hochul and Mayor Eric Adams. The funds will be used to transform the space into a new hub for businesses, from film and TV to urban agriculture. The plan has the potential to create over 1,800 jobs for Bronxites and up to $10 billion in economic impact. This new vision for the Kingsbridge Armory isn't the brainchild of real estate developers or even politicians. Instead, it was created after direct input from Bronxites. We've been able to reach over 4,000 residents, you know, with a process that was carefully curated to ensure that the voices of our communities were heard. The city's Economic Development Corporation will begin taking proposals from developers who want to work on the armory's revitalization as soon as next month. It truly sends a clear message to future developers that want to come and invest in our borough and want to come be a part of our borough that we are serious. And over the years, there have been several failed attempts to repurpose the Kingsbridge Armory, including an effort to turn it into an ice hockey center. The borough president's office is very hopeful this time around, citing the significant financial support from both the mayor and the governor.